Yoshi! That was terrible. Hello guys, who are you? David DeFranco here from davidthefranco.com as well as davidsthings.com and actually that's directly related to things you're about to see in this video. Hence, things, David's things. Go there, check it out. Anyway, it is time for a long overdue tech haul video. I haven't done one of these in quite a while, so let's jump right into it because I have a lot to talk about. First up, let's talk about Yoshi. Look at this. Look at this. Yoshi's Wooly World. This actually just arrived like a half hour ago via UPS. I got it from Amazon for about like $48. I got some kind of prime savings. I'm not sure what that is. Maybe because I pre-ordered it. But either way, I'm really, really excited about this for two reasons. One, it's Yoshi. Who in their right freaking mind does not like Yoshi? And number two, <laughs> this is my excuse to give my Wii U some fair attention. Because guys, I'm gonna be honest, I've been playing my Xbox One and PS4 a lot more than I have my Wii U, especially now that I have Halo 5 on Xbox One. Great game, by the way. Buy it in two weeks. But seriously, I am so excited about this. The music sounds awesome from what I've seen in videos. The art style is just to die for because Wooly World, it's all about yarn. It's very creative and it's just further proof that Nintendo has not lost their passion for fun and creative and innovative type games. So I'm definitely looking forward to playing this, but not until after I complete the campaign in Halo 5 on Heroic, which I hope to do tonight. But by the time you see this video, I would have started this by now. So cool, I'm looking very forward to that. Now, huge shout out to Diane Ferguson for helping me enhance my Yoshi's Wooly World experience by getting me the three Yoshi plush Amiibo. Guys, look at this. I can't even hold them all. We have the green one, we have the blue one, and finally, the pink Yoshi. This is just awesome. Diane Ferguson, thank you so much. Guys, be sure to follow Diane right below. Now, looking at the back of the case, I did not know that you could scan Amiibo other than these Yoshi Amiibo, because if you look back here, it says that if you scan your Mario Amiibo, it kind of makes your Yoshi look like Mario. I was not aware of that, which is really cool. But of course, I'm looking more forward to using these Amiibo because one, they're cute as hell. Come on, who in their right freaking mind, just like I said in the beginning of this video, does not like Yoshi. These are the coolest Amiibo that Nintendo has made so far. And number two, it's just awesome. It's a nice collection to add to my existing Amiibo. Needless to say, but I said it anyway, I'm excited to try these Amiibo on Yoshi's Willy World. Hopefully by tonight, but more realistically, probably tomorrow because I have to build a shelf, which is actually going back there, so it'll cover up the g headerness that is currently present. Anyway, Diane Ferguson, thank you so much. Be sure to follow Diane's Twitter right below. Next up, Nancy Price, you are awesome, because Nancy was nice enough to get me this, an Apple Watch dock or stand rather, it's not technically a dock, it doesn't power it, but it does obviously have a place for your Apple Watch to sit up top, but even better, your iPhone could sit right here on the bottom. I was looking for it, it's right there. And boom, you can simply sit it right there, then your Apple Watch on top. Actually, hold on, let me give you a demonstration. Let me take off my 42 millimeter uh, Apple Watch. And I don't have the cable on it right now, so it's not gonna magnetically attach, but that's how it's gonna look. Not bad at all. Or even if you wanna put it horizontally, you can. Um, and you can actually put your iPhone vertically if you want. Now, of course, that's gonna block the whole stand and defeat the purpose of putting your Apple Watch on here, but if you wanted to make a video like I just did a few days ago showing what's on your iPhone, you could simply stand it vertically and do just that. Very cool. Nancy, thank you so much. And finally, I think I'm gonna link Nancy's Facebook right below. I'm not sure which link you want, Nancy. Of course, I'll text you after this, but I'm pretty sure it's your Facebook. But either way, thank you so much. That's definitely very cool. Next up, shout out to Raymond. Unfortunately, I don't have any links for Raymond, but guys, Raymond was nice enough to get me this. This was a total surprise. Look at this. It's an end level or level end, why do I always say end level? It's a level end Amiibo display. So basically this um, resembles, obviously, the very first level in Super Mario Brothers where you have to go up the little blocks or whatever, then jump on the flag, but it's an Amiibo form. 
How cool is that? Not only is this a flashback to my childhood, but it just looks freaking awesome in my office. And of course, you can move the Amiibo to any place you want. For instance, shout out to Sully. I think he said to put Mario and Peach together. And you know what, guys? I'm going to do just that live on camera. So Yoshi, you will take a step down and Peach can be up there. So there you go, Mario and his hoe are kind of bonding and Yoshi can go right there. Although I think Luigi deserves to be one step higher since he's Mario's brother, then Yoshi can go down here. So cool. And of course, if you guys want this same exact um, level end display, I will link you right below on Amazon. Raymond, thank you so much. Oh, and by the way, these blocks come off, so you don't necessarily have to make it look like this. I just did this to mimic the first level in Mario, but you can make it into any formation that you want, so that's pretty cool. It's kind of like Tetris in that way. So Raymond, thank you for one last time. That was one of the nicest surprises that I've received in a while. And speaking of nice surprises, this next one is just as nice. Shout out to Kevin Epergesi. I really hope I said that right, Kev. Kev is a friend of mine and we always play together in GTA, Rocket League, and all that good stuff. Sometimes Destiny, he's not a big Destiny fan. Kev, I'm trying to convert you, but we'll get there at some point. But for now, we can still appreciate this. This is a dual charging station for the DualShock 4. You see what they did there? Dual shock, dual charging. It just works, it makes sense. But seriously, this is really cool uh, because one, it makes it really convenient. Two, it makes your setup look that much better because before I got this stand, I was literally just plugging in the USB cable and resting the controller on top of my PS4 console. It didn't look that great. I mean, it worked, it was easy, but this is even easier. So, they were really smart in designing this. Check this out, it doesn't just sit on here. You actually have to physically push it, like so, and then, boom. It's actually docked in there, and you will see a flashing orangish yellow light to indicate that it's actually charging. This is really neat because I'm a heavy gamer, and sometimes, as you know, Kev, we might have our late night GTA sessions where we go for like five hours straight, and I need to switch out controllers, so rather than running a long ass USB cable across my living room, why not run into here, take out my spare controller, and then put the one that needs charging on the dock. It's that easy, I love it. And I just turned my PS4 on by accident. Hence the light and the beep in the background, if you even heard that. And Kev, finally, I will link your website right below. Check them out if you need any kind of web development work, web design, all that good stuff. Guys, thank you so much to you for making this a huge success. I cannot express enough how much I appreciate it. I really, really do. All of this stuff is just a surprise, except for the game, of course. This I bought myself, but everything else were gifts from you guys, and I just truly, truly appreciate it. And by the way, please bear with me. I know the sound kind of is blah, but I am working on it, I promise. This microphone might be temporary, or I might get a, a, some, some kind of amp to amplify the sound, because right now there's a little hiss in the background. I'm trying some noise cancellation in Final Cut Pro 10, which does a good job, but it makes me sound kind of hollow. So we'll see what happens. Guys, as always, thank you so much. Stay awesome. Always be yourself, and I'll see you in my next video. Peace.